The Armenian Genocide is such a difficult topic to talk about, um, partly because it's simply a horrific event um, in human history. Um, also because it's very controversial even today. This is something that happened um, in 1915 as Turkey went into the First World War on the side of the Axis powers and against, of course, a coalition of the Allies, amongst whom was Russia. So the problem is that, of course, Turkey or the Ottoman Empire and Russia had been fighting for a long time over territory. And there were many minority groups in the Ottoman Empire who wanted to break away and set up their own states. And the Armenians certainly wanted to do that, with the Russians as kind of their protectors. So that's the general background of the tensions that go into this period of history. What happens is that the, the government in Turkey decided that the Armenians were a threat. They were a threat both because they wanted to break away and form their own state and because they were seen as a fifth column who might be helpful to the Russians if the Russians tried to invade. So at some point, either a central decision was made or commanders on the ground took it into their own hands. This is one of the big points of, of controversy um, because we don't have access to all the materials in the archives to tell us exactly who knew what and said to do what when. In the event, the tragedy that happens is that our Armenians were rounded up from towns and cities, particularly in the east, but also in Istanbul and other cities, and forced to march across the Anatolian countryside through desert conditions, in the heat, through into the, what we think of as the Syrian desert. The numbers, again, are very controversial, but up to 1.5 million people perished, either as a result of being directly killed or dying of starvation and thirst and deprivation on this forced march. So it's a horrible episode in history and one that still we need to get to the bottom of by making it totally transparent. And that's something that Turkey has been very reluctant to do because they don't want to even today be held responsible for all of these events and for everything that happened. Even today in Turkey, you cannot discuss the Armenian Genocide openly and uh, the Turkish government will not allow people to speak of it as a genocide.